What's up guys, my name is TechNubber here for Troubleshoot and today we're going to be going through yet another plugin for your UMod powered Rust server. Today we're going to be going through the Gather Manager mod, which is basically the number one plugin that you'll need if you're making a modded server where it's say five times or ten times. Basically you change the amount of resources gained from gathering resources such as trees, nodes, rocks, literally even mushrooms, and even the new added excavator, etc, etc. This is the mod that you need to change the gather rates at which people play with. Obviously, you've seen servers with 5x and 10x, and this is the plugin that they're all powered by. That being said, I'm going to take the server that I have currently and turn it into a 5x server. So right over here, I have FileZilla, which I'll be using to transfer files between my computer on the left-hand side and the server on the right-hand side. Obviously, if you're running the server off your local computer, this will simply just be a folder that you can browse through. But for me, I'll be dragging files back and forth from the server to my local PC. If you're adding this to a server you have on your PC, you'll be doing it the same way. However, if you're with someone like Game Servers or another hosting company, or it's just hosted on a different computer, then you'll probably have FTP set up and you'll also be using a remote console, Archon. If you want to find out more about these and how to use them with your Rust server, find them at the link in the description down below. That being said, this is part of an ongoing series of mine where I'm setting up and running a successful Rust server. So, that being said, let's go ahead and install Gather Manager. I'll simply hit download in the top right, and it'll download a .cs file. That, I'll be putting into my Rust folder, inside of Oxide, and then Plugins. Here's the rest of the plugins. All I need to do is simply drag it out of Chrome and drop it into the folder. Once we've done that, we can look inside of Archon or inside of the actual console if you're running the server locally, and you'll see Gather Manager was compiled, configuration created, and it was loaded. Great. Now I'm going to head back to the folder, go back a folder, go into config, and you can see that there's now a Gather Manager.json file. I'll download this and open it with Notepad. So here's where things get a little bit confusing, but it's not too difficult to understand. What is here is not everything, and we'll be changing it quite a bit, but as you can see, you can change the belt speed of the excavator, so the rate at which it pulls out resources, etc, etc, and there's not a huge amount here. If you Google for a Gather Manager setup, then you'll probably find a file like this, which is probably about twice the length. If I undo and redo, you can see that I'm only changing options inside of here, the options tab. So by default, it only has this, but if I make it bigger with the one link in the description down below, ready for you to download, you can see that I've already got it set up to 5.0 for everything, meaning that this is a five times server. So the file that'll be linked below will look a little bit more similar to this. All I've done really is changed all of the fives to ones from the previous example that I showed you. And this is basically the default setup that you'd have. So basically what's happened here is inside of this tag, there's a bunch of these subheadings. Of course, you can change each one of these individually, or you can get rid of all of the individual ones and just go off of a general one indicated by a star. Having a star inside of inverted commas followed by a value means that everything that is a gatherable resource modifier will be multiplied by five. Of course, if you have these ones below, you can change how much of each item you get from, say, the resource modifiers. Of course, you can have it either this way, where you can change each one of these, or you could make it to look something similar to this, where each one of these has a star followed by a modifier, so 5, 5, 5, 5. And if I were to save this, it would become a 5 times server. Of course, from here, if you'd like to add multiple items, you'd simply just break it up nicely. I'll add a tab there. And on the next line, you'd add whatever it is, inside of inverted commas, colon, followed by the value you want to use. So it's super simple and it's super intuitive. That's basically how to set up this file. But of course, I'll be going with this one. So before I go ahead and upload this new config, I'll join the server itself and show you what it's like normally. I'll reload the plugin and then continue smacking a tree or something along those lines. So I'll go and start it up now. I'll simply head across to a tree and I'll bash say this. You can see I get 10 wood from that. If I pick up a mushroom, that's one. Hemp, I get one. Seed and tin cloth. Smack a tree, I get five, etc., etc. So it's currently default. Get 50 from that stump. Let's go ahead and change the settings inside of that JSON file. So what I'll do is make sure that I save everything with the 5.0 settings. And I'll go ahead and drag it back onto my server. Of course, if you're editing the file directly, you won't need to worry about uploading it because you'll be editing it locally on your own computer. Then all we need to do is open up our console or the actual console. And at the very bottom where it says type a command to execute, I'll type in oxide.reload space 
gather, capital G, manager, capital M, hit enter, and you can see that it unloads and then reloads the plugin. Awesome, now that we're done with that, we'll go ahead and tab back into Rust. And as you can see, I'm exactly where I was. Smack a tree, I immediately get 25 wood from it. Let's pick up a mushroom, get five, 250 from that stump, 50 cloth and five seeds, etc., etc. And you can see that it's properly set up to be a 5x server. Everything is giving me exactly five times the resources that it did before doing this. Of course, this didn't need a restart, this didn't need anything. All I needed to do was simply just reload the plugin. So it makes it incredibly easy to find out exactly what each setting does, and you can add more, remove them, etc., etc. And you'll be able to see exactly what the changes are simply by running oxide.reload, gather manager, and boom. You don't even need to restart your server, you don't even need to reconnect. Anyways, that's the Gather Manager plugin. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other Rust tutorial videos because I'm going through a vast collection of plugins as well as information on setting up and running the game server itself. Anyway, thank you all for watching. My name is Beantech Number here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.